Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about development of trachea. Development of trachea is occur in the ventral wall of the foregut. This is the foregut tube. During fourth week, a median groove is arising, which is arising from the ventral wall of the foregut. This median groove is called laryngotracheal groove and it is also called respiratory diverticulum. So this margin of the groove, the margin of the groove which moves, which grows deeper in the cardiocranial direction. See, the margin of the groove which grows deeper in the cardiocranial direction. This movement of the cardiocranial direction arrests until the formation of the inverted u-shaped structure until the formation of inverted u-shaped structure now this groove is producing a septum and this septum is called tracheoesophageal septum and in front of this septum the tube is formed now that is laryngotracheal tube. This laryngotracheal tube which is connected towards the cephalic part and uh, this uh, point we can say it as a furcula. Towards the cephalic it is connected to the pharynx. And this tracheoesophageal septum is there now. This is going to separate the trachea from the esophagus. This one gives a clear picturization to you. This is the foregut tube and the groove, a median groove is arising in the ventral wall of the foregut. And there is a cardiocranial direction uh, that is a groove uh, moves cardiocranial direction. Okay. This going to produce a septum. Okay. Inside it is going to produce a septum. That will become the tracheoesophageal septum going to separate the trachea and esophagus. Now the trachea is the one which is going to bifurcate into two lung buds. So likewise the trachea it lies between the larynx and the lung buds. That is towards the cephalic it is larynx is there and to the caudal it is lung buds are there. So this trachea lies between the larynx and the lung buds. And the laryngotracheal tube, it is surrounded by this planconopleuric mesoderm. So it is surrounded by planconopleuric mesoderm, whereas the foregut tube is endoderm. And this laryngotracheal tube is surrounded by planconopleuric mesoderm. And this going to form the connective tissue, cartilage and the trachealis muscle. While read about the development of trachea, we must know the important birth defect conditions also. So likewise here we can see the condition that is tracheo tracheoesophageal fistula. So in case of normal child, so here a septum is formed so that the separation of the trachea and esophagus can be identified. But in case of abnormal birth defect, if there is abnormal formation of the esophageal, tracheoesophageal septum means the esophagus may be connected to the trachea. And this condition is called a tracheoesophageal fistula. And the another one is esophageal atresia. Usually the esophagus has to be connected to the stomach. In case of this, here there is no either, there is no recanalization of the esophagus occurs or it may not be connected to the stomach. And this kind of birth defect is called esophageal atresia. So very important thing is, when you read about the development of trachea, you must know that what is tracheoesophageal fistula. 
Thank you friends. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share, subscribe and click the bell icon.